Hey everybody, I'm Chris Conley. I'm a professional motion picture and television editor, and like many of us, I've been working from home the last few years. In my field of video editing, I often need a four-monitor setup. In, in this case, I have my bins on one side, my timeline on another, my client monitor up above, and for those in instances where I need to do some kind of uh, session review or client review, I need a fourth monitor where I can have uh, either a browser or something like <clears throat> a Zoom client open or something uh, to review the cuts. I also wanted a one cable solution where I could basically plug my laptop into a dock that was pre-connected to my peripherals and my monitors. And then at the end of the night, all I would have to do is unplug one cable and, and walk away with the, with the laptop. So... I started looking into docs and uh, software solutions for how I could get a fourth monitor. And there is a, a driver called Display Link. It's a little bit of a hack. I don't know exactly all the uh, shenanigans behind the scenes that makes it work, but it does work for something like what I'm doing. I don't know that I would recommend it for people who need high performance playback, like gamers. But if you're doing something where you just need a client monitor output, especially in my case, I'm only running a 1080p client monitor output. so. Um, I don't think I'm in any way stressing the uh, DisplayLink software. So four monitors all working independently off of a 2021 uh, MacBook, 16-inch MacBook Pro M1 Max. So if you want to know if you can get four monitors running, yes, you can. And this is how you do it. <clears throat> Nine times out of ten, I actually run the system with the laptop in clamshell mode. So if I close this... You'll see here in the setups, it goes to a three monitor setup, and I still have the others working as you would expect. Um, so, the device that I ended up settling on is the OWC Thunderbolt 4, <clears throat> which is uh, here. Uh, I'll put links for these things below. This is working perfectly. Uh, originally, I had a, a device called a QG, I believe. And I loved it. It was working perfectly. I did a video about it, but I unfortunately have to kind of revoke my uh, earlier uh, endorsement of it because the device runs so hot. I had to put a fan on it to keep it working. If I didn't have a fan, I'd start getting glitchy playback. And then ultimately it failed. Um, and I had actually, the one that failed was my second one. The original device that came to me uh, was faulty. So that's two devices that either were faulty when it arrived or ended up going bad. So I can't, with good conscience, endorse the whole QGene thing anymore, unfortunately. But the OWC device is working perfectly. I've had it for about three weeks, has not gotten hardly above room temperature, and it just works. It's a, it's a solid as a rock. It has three Thunderbolt 4 pass-throughs, and it has three USB 3 ports, and it also has an Ethernet port, which I needed. And then to get my client monitor display, <clears throat> I picked up the StarTech.com USB 3 to HDMI external video adapter. It actually is a DisplayLink certified device. <clears throat> There's devices that are more that are less expensive. Uh, but this one's very well reviewed, and because of the fact I'd had some failures, I just wanted to get equipment that worked. So, one cable to the OWC Thunderbolt 4 device. From that, I'm running uh, Thunderbolt to HDMI cables to this monitor and this monitor, and then I've plugged this adapter into one of the USB 3 ports, and it has an HDMI cable running that monitor. And then, of course, the laptop runs its internal display when I take it out of clamshell mode. And it has been working like a top. Uh, the one thing that I did have to do was go through the initial setup of these monitors. When I first plugged everything in, all four monitors appeared. Uh, but the, the system showed them all as mirrored. So every single, all four displays were showing the same thing, which is the desktop. So I had to go through the first process of picking which monitor was the primary 
and then where each monitor fell in the chain. So as it is, uh, this left monitor is my primary monitor, which has the menu menus and whatnot. This is the next monitor in the display chain. Uh, my client monitor is the third in the display chain. And then when I open the clamshell, you, you'll see a fourth monitor appear, which of course is the laptop. Um, so once that was set up, it seems to stick. I've been running it for about three weeks now and I haven't had to redo it. It was a, a little hassle to set up the first time, but now that fourth monitor just appears and disappears when I open the clamshell and it works like, uh, works like a million bucks. So anybody who needs four or three monitors and, uh, you're running on an M1 Max, I, I can't speak to a lesser powered machine, but if you, at least if you're running an M1 Max, this works like a top. So uh, that's that, I guess. I won't ramble any further. I uh, just wanted to give a little bit of an update for people who might be looking for a three or four monitor setup with a current MacBook Pro. Okay, hope it's helped somebody. Thanks, bye.